Let's detach the camera from the sphere and select the camera. From the inspector panel on the right, click Add Component, search for Script and New Script. Call it Camera Controller. If you create a script using the inspector panel, it will be created in the Assets folder. You can later move it into the Scripts folder like this. Alright, let's open the script file. And we need a variable to hold the player game object. Because we will use its position to update the camera's position. So here I'll define a new public game object player. As I said, we gotta update the position using the player's position. To do that, we need to get the distance between the camera and the player. This will be private since we don't need to access it from the Unity. I'll use vector3 because we need all x, y, and z values. And I will call this one offset. We can set the offset value at the beginning once, and the distance will stay the same. So go into the start function, and remember, this will be called only at the beginning once. I'm gonna say offset equals to transform.position minus player.transform.position. Since this script is assigned to the camera object, this will be the position of the camera by default. And the second one is the player's position. And both are in type of 3D vector. Now that we have the distance, in other words, offset, we can change the position of the camera in every frame, right? In the update function, let's say transform that position and assign this to player transform position plus offset. And now if the x value of the player is increasing in every frame, camera's x will also increase. That's why the camera will follow the player in every direction. But it will only get the position values, not the rotation. Thus, the problem is solved. One more thing I want to talk about is the late update. There are update functions for all of the objects, right? For instance, the player object has also its own update function. We cannot set the order of the update functions. That is to say, if the camera's update is called before the player's update, that may cause a problem. So right now we can change this update to late update. And in that way, it ensures that this update function will be called after any of the update functions. Therefore, this is the best practice for actions such as following. Okay, we are all set. Save this file and let's go back to Unity. Select the camera and under the script component, you can see the player field. This appears here because we did it public. For example, you cannot see offset variable because that was private. Okay, now since it is public, we can set it here as well. Move the sphere object on top of the player field. That's how Unity will understand the sphere is the player and will get its position to adjust the camera. Let's try that. Hit play. And yeah, now the camera follows the player on every direction. We can still change the camera's position manually. So it's too close now, maybe. We can move it up and let's rotate it so it looks down with an angle. And if that's okay, hit play. And you can see that it is still following the player with the new offset value. Which means we can always adjust the transform values of the camera and it's still going to work. Perfect. This is how you can make a camera follows an object, and you can apply this logic to any game from now on.